What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do another video today. It's gonna be an install video. Um, if you guys have watched the, it's been a couple weeks now, but the rock run video we did where I just trashed my rear trailing arms. Um, you know why I'm replacing these. If you haven't seen that video, I'll show a quick clip right now of it. That way you can see it. And we'll be back here in a second. So that's why I'm replacing the trailing arms. Um, you can see humped up, smashed up. It happens. It was time to upgrade. So we went with the uh, Super ATV ones. Give you a good look at them. They're actually pretty heavy. They feel they feel pretty strong. Uh, when you have a 64 inch machine, you don't really have many options that are uh, affordable. I know most of the most of the companies are making them for the 72 inch machines, but uh, we went with these ones. Uh, the price was good, and you can't beat the lifetime warranty. So that's why I went with Super ATV. So uh, I think they say that they give you three inches of ground clearance. Um, we'll we'll get a couple before measurements, a couple after measurements, see if see if that's true or not but uh so that's that's what we're getting into and i know you're probably saying to yourself well you only see one here and it's black and you're right on both of them so today is it's a wednesday and um, i only got one today so i called super atv and they said one shipped from their west coast warehouse and one shipped from their indiana warehouse so I got the one from Indiana today, the one from their other one's coming tomorrow. So still three days to get here. And I think it was right around 700 bucks through Super ATV. So that's pretty much what you're looking at. Three day shipping, got here pretty quick. And they only offer it in the black and the red. And I have yellow. So it's just, uh, it's just something I'm gonna have to deal with. I could have it, you know, blasted and power coated, but I'm not. I'm not too concerned with it. There's there's other black parts that I don't really think anybody will notice. I'm not really too concerned with it. It looks better than that. So we'll get started. I'll uh, start tearing stuff apart and we'll be back here in a second. It's like 90 degrees here today. I'm sweating. My garage is in air conditioned. <laughs> get the tire out of the way. I'm going to take the hub off. Swap that out for the 30 millimeter. Take your 15, or break these caliper bolts loose. You're gonna have to re, uh, remove the brake line off of the radius, or your trailing arm here. You have to drill out the rivets. They give you bolts and hardware and mounts and everything to hook the stuff onto their trailing arm. Yeah, all right. Now, pull the hub off here. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna take an 18. We're gonna take all these off. 
pull the hub and then this will be free and then this is an 18 here 18 here we're going to take the shock and the sway bar link off and then uh it's the same with up there there's an 18 up there and then we'll take the brake line off and we should be good to go that's the next step Now we're going to go ahead and take your shock off. And your sway bar link. Okay. And we're going to tie this axle up. And uh, they say it's not recommended to let it hang. So we're going to tie this up and then we'll be back to take this off. Excellent. What are we doing today, Coop? Um, changing that. Yeah, what it's called. What's it called? I forget. Oh, um, come on. Special T. No, trailing arm. Trailing arm. <laughs> there you go. I'm learning them. All right, so we just went, instead of tying it up, we just went ahead and pulled the axle. Um, I'm getting to the point where I need to, to maintenance and grease it anyway, so it doesn't strip the splines and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and uh, unbolt the trailing arm up here. Coop, you want to hold this like that so it doesn't fall? You got it? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna keep this bolt separated so I know where it goes. Leave that right there. All right, so what we gotta do now is we gotta drill out the, the rivets in here and then uh, set this out of, out of the way and we'll bring the other trailing arm here and get it ready to hook up. All right, we got it off. You can see, let me see, I'll see if I can get them a shot of it straight down. I don't know if you guys would be able to see the the curve right about here. Maybe from this side. And then that. So that hopefully won't happen anymore. I guess we'll see. But that'll be another thing for me to hang on the wall with those. And now uh, we'll get this one set down here. Let's see what it looks like. Grab that. Yeah. It's going to be a shame to get that all messed up. And here's, here's the hardware they give you. To hold your brake line in and there's already tap tools in the trailing arm for that so what we're going to do now is they have the uh slot supplied bushings we're going to put them in the front we're going to hold it up there get it mounted up there and then we're going to go through and hook the brake line on partially and then we'll start reassembling everything all right now we're going to go ahead and bolt up the brake line here Let's see. all right what we got going on we got the axle put back in got the splines greased 
what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna lift this up oh yeah we got the, uh, the brake line mounted up where it's supposed to go but what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna lift this up in place we're gonna get the uh, the shock and the sway bar or the sway bar link hooked up and Cooper's going to put a bolt through it for me once I get it lined up here. Go ahead. Alright. So, now we're good to go ahead and put the, the hub in. Put the radius rods on. And get all that mounted up so hot here today <laughs> I got sweat all over me but we'll get that mounted up um, and then we'll be right back there you go so I got everything bolted up bolted back together kind of just reverse the process of taking it off but uh what I did do was I had to replace this lower uh, radius rod um, I had uh, a spare in mine. I noticed it was bent when uh, when I was putting it back together. I could see a nice curve in it, so I went ahead and replaced that while it was off. But you can see in through there, brake line, everything's bolted up. Everything fit pretty good. Um, I want to go ahead and get you guys a measurement. Uh, Sherry, hold the camera here. So we'll kind of, right in here was the area where I was hitting the most, but uh, we'll get uh, we'll get a couple different measurements. So we got, can you see that Sherry at all? Got 14 and a quarter. 14. 14. We'll go over here to the other side. Now, this is this is curved up and and pretty smashed, so you'll have to take that into account. But you got fourteen and a half, kind of where it's where it's bent right here. So probably fourteen and a quarter. And then here you got we'll call it fourteen. And obviously back here where it makes a difference, you're at 13 and just about 12 and a half. So it's 12 and a half right, it's 12 and a half right from the tire. And this one was 14, 14 right in front of the tire. So they say you gain three inches. I didn't gain quite three inches but it is what it is it, I gained enough that I won't hit the trailing arm like I did before so that's what uh, that's what I'm excited about and it doesn't look like curved and it wasn't it wasn't good so that's kind of what to expect um, I got the other one like I said I got the other one coming tomorrow so we'll throw that one in tomorrow and uh, I don't need to show you guys that. We'll we'll do that off camera. I bored you guys enough, so I'm gonna go over, get in the air condition, get out of this heat a little bit. So appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully this helps you out if you're getting ready to do it. That way you know what to expect or how to do it, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.